Stefan Ivan Kishko, you have been found guilty of a most brutal murder. You will go to prison for life. Take him down. He said I could go home. He said I could go home for Christmas. Mom. Mom. Miss Sharp, I thought I was to help unravel your silks, not to be sold into slavery. Nonsense, Mr. Sedley. Stay still, I beg you, or I shall never have them untangled. I surrender. I am your prisoner. You have only to ask, and I shall release you. Dearest Miss Sharp, I'll give him to you. What? Your beautiful bird? No, I couldn't. You say you love everything that comes from India. Take him. He is my ambassador. It should William's passport. No, no, the agreement was that when I got the passport, I... William, don't you realise how difficult this is going to be? This place will kill me. Just going through these old accounts. Trying to work out how my father ran this place. Did you admire him? Well, I suppose I did. But then he never had any time for us. Too busy, was he? No. No, it wasn't that. It was just that he was always with my mother. Did you, any of that? Did you Frank? No. No. Oh. Well, it's all true. And not only that, but after 39 years, he's here tonight. Surprise, surprise. It's the brother. He never even knew your dad. Come in, our Jerry. How do you do? Jerry. Frank. This is my wife, Mavis. Hi. Hello. Would you like a cream horn? I've just opened a box. Hey, hey, hey. What happened there? Nothing. All I did was say hello to one of Maureen's mates. Next thing I know, maybe she's gone fucking loopy. She's gonna be mad at me for days now. I don't know, Jerry, it must be me. Frank, would you stop blaming yourself? I, ju I just seem to disappoint her all the time. She reckons she's ready to put the kibosh on our marriage. I knew I'd find you here. You said some terrible things to me, Frank. Some awful things. And I meant every one of them. I'm sure they were spat out in the heat of the moment. And that's why I'm willing to forgive and forget. I'm not looking for forgiveness, Mavis. And I don't need your bloody charity. Thank you very much. Look, just come home and we'll talk about it. What's the magic word? <gasps> she wouldn't listen. You should have stopped her. I was going to say something. I was going to. I made a mess in the van. You heard love conquers everything, even wobbly knees. Not that I ain't grateful, Silas, but I can. Perhaps I could just write her a note. Oh. Permission to smoke, sir? Yeah, go ahead. Do you understand what I mean? Look, sir, if it's about what happened, I had nothing to do with that. Came in. Got into a funk and he hanged himself. <laughs> I thought since I know my way around the kitchen here, I might cook you supper. Are you sure? I am sure, yes. Well, why not? <laughs> Is that you? 
Yes, Ray. What the bloody hell do you think you're playing at? It's a boy band, look, Ray. Boy band? Look at the size of your tits. <laughs> what are you doing? Damn it, John. All of this is so unnecessary. What can we do if you won't let I couldn't just leave him because... Because he's my brother. Blimey. Well, half-brother, really. He's completely harmless, just like I said. A little high-spirited is all. <laughs> Robbie, that is not polite! We do something! We talked about this. You do not grab, do you? That's your new friend, Hermione. <laughs> Grope! Drop! Put me down! Now! <laughs> oh, Mr. Berry. This calls for a celebration. There's gin in the cupboard. I signed the pledge in Dartmoor, Mrs. Holland. Alcohol is the cause of madness, hallucinations, softness of the brain, a moral decay. The damage is already done in your case. Yeah, I was formerly very wicked, but I intend to lead a good life from now on. Always accepted the odd murder. Well, do you know where it's come from? Two months ago, there was a robbery in a house down in Baradell. It's about 20 minutes that way. And there was cash and jewellery stolen, and a Webley revolver belonging to the owner, Colonel Carey. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the Webley, though, does no, it? No, 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 I know. But Carey's been a friend of the Orkin family for years. Squire's often a guest up there. Morning, Joan. You're late this morning, Dave. This is Walgan Whaley with her fairy cakes. No, Mrs. Westbrook had a warm tray of rock buns. Couldn't pass that up now, could I? <gasps> what the hell? That was a bit of a shock. Telling me. Don't look like that. Other men do it. I don't know anybody. It's disgusting. Don't. I feel sick to me stomach. You see, I knew you'd react like this. How long That's why I didn't tell you in the first place. You're making out like I've done something wrong. It is wrong. It's like I've been having an affair or deceiving you or something. No, deceiving anyway, me. how's it wrong? You come down in a shirt and That's trousers sometimes. You know I don't kick off about that. Look at it. Who says it's wrong? Who do you think you are, bloody Brigitte Bardo? Brigitte Bardo's shoulder length. That one's called Chantel. Oh, for God's sake, you're he sick. He came into the workshop, started up his van, and he drove away. Why are you lying? Don't act stupid. Ow! For God's sake, Eddie, give the drum to me. <sighs> this is all your fault, you know. You and your underpinnings. Oh, excuse me, Nate. <sighs> Eddie, get up! I can't get up, Marie. It's Jimmy. And if I had it, for this not to have happened. The beast lives in the prison, and it sucks on the life juice of men. Right. Yeah. Sucks the life juice right out of them. So the, there's nothing left of them. They're just withered, just bodies, you know. Right. So, on the... Uh... The night of the murder. You don't want to drop of this. No, no. It's my own brew, you know, for no. stuff. Sure. I'm fine. I'm on duty. Thank you. Now, on the night of the murder... I mean, the funny thing is, you've got me talking to you, you've got you talking to me. We're never going to understand what each other says, are we? I know who killed... Oh, Mally! Oh, look, he's talking. If you know who's wanting to be a page three, Mally. I'm warning you, I'm on your foot in there.